Hey coaches, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And so this week has been talking about defensive side of the ball, specifically tackling. So we've kind of gone through all the basic one-on-one -on -one tackles you could do. And guys, there's a million more out there. So if you're searching tackling, keep on searching because there's a lot of different drills you can do. I would recommend sticking to about two or three that you see the point in, that your players see how they translate into a game and really focusing on those. That's gone a long way for us. Sometimes these exotic drills are great, uh, but you spend so much time putting them in and doing them, are you really getting the value from them? So I'd pick a couple drills. They could be the ones I'm going through or, or drills you find somewhere else and really get on those and, and coach up what you're trying to get accomplished. That's the basic tackling one-on-one. -on -one. So now the next couple days, today and the next day, I'm going to go through how tackling really looks on a field because very rarely, I mean, there are more and more one-on-one -on -one tackling. That's what offenses are trying to create. But on the defensive side of the ball, we are trying to create two-on-one -on -one tackling and understanding how to use a big word that we, use, we call leverage, understanding where our fit is. So it's important working with your defense that you talk a lot about responsibility in relationship to the ball. Uh, a lot of times we'll, we'll tell a kid, hey, you're a force player, but he doesn't really understand what that means in relationship to the ball. And so we use things like the word hip. This has been a good easy one for us because we track hips. So for an outside linebacker, 90% of the time we're going to be an outside hip fitter. We're going to try to fit the outside hip of the ball carrier. And I go through a lot of this in detail if you want to get Specific on a 3-4 defense, I've got my own book out. You can go look at it on FB Coach Simpson. There's a lot of courses too. And a lot of these drills are also on there. So if you, I'm going to explain them here. If you want to see them, uh, they're in the PowerPoints that are on my website. You can just go over there to the download section and find them. But anyway, we talk about tracking the outside hip, or if we're an inside linebacker or a safety, we're tracking the inside hip instead of the outside hip. And working together. So these drills are meant to simulate what that looks like in a two-on-one situation. And we tell them we should never lose two-on-one. There's some really good running backs we try to tackle in one-on-one -on -one situation. That's going to be really hard. And we're going to teach you the tricks, but that's difficult. So our goal defensively, scheme-wise, is to put you in a position where you have a helper, whether that is a teammate or the sideline. You know, we want to make sure we have guys that are playing outside hip or inside hip. So that's what this drill is meant to simulate. So we started off pretty simple. We'll put two defensive players, uh, usually about five yards back, okay? And then we're gonna have the ball carrier. Usually we're gonna have a box. We may use yard lines on the field, whatever's available to us. The ball carrier, his simple rules are, and it's usually a tag off drill. We don't wanna get guys hit real hard in this. It's usually gonna be a tag off. We're going, which means we're gonna run, we're gonna break down, we're gonna tag off on the hip. Okay, we're not just gonna touch them like one hand touch. We wanna simulate everything except for the actual contact on this because two guys running you're gonna have a lot of heavy contact there so defensive players are working together understanding I have this hip I have this hip so this can be moved anywhere on the field but I have this hip I'm working with my teammate who has that hip so it's a very simple clean drill to understand you know if I'm working now I only have to make sure this guy does not go this way I'm gonna close the space and never give up my leverage Hopefully my partner's doing the same thing. You will be amazed how many times you do this drill, especially our younger kids, and they give up leverage because they're still thinking one-on-one -on -one tackling where I gotta go tackle this guy, and they give up the one thing they weren't supposed to give up, which was the leverage they were maintaining. So it's pretty simple, our guys will attack. We tell the ball carrier, hey, you know, you're trying to just make one of these guys wrong. Your job as a ball carrier is to make it a one-on-one -on -one game. So key mistakes you'll see is, Defensive players won't work together, and the ball carrier will get outside of one of them. Well, that's a loss. Or they won't close the space, and the ball carrier will split them. So those are the different things we're looking at. It's a very clean, simple drill. It's a tag-off drill for us. To spice it up a little bit and to make our guys kind of come from space more, we'll put them back-to-back. -back. So our two defensive players on this one are back-to-back. -back. They're turned back. The ball carrier is between them. He's going to go around a cone. So when we say go or blow the whistle or whatever we're doing to simulate the start, he's gonna go around the cone and now he's coming up and trying to do the same thing. Our defenders now have to go around the cones and now, erase all this, we're coming from space and he has a two-way go. I can go either way 
and my defenders now have to work together. Again, it's all about leverage. Same coaching points. Close the space, maintain your leverage. You know, that's a huge key for us in tackling. You know, you can have great tacklers, guys that are phenomenal one-on-one -on -one tacklers. If they don't understand that their role a lot of times is to work with their team inside of your system, you're going to have problems because that guy is going to be one you can't really count on to fit where they're supposed to fit. And again, I go through a lot of this stuff. If you want more depth on like exactly how we fit things, you can go to my website. I've got those PowerPoints on there. I think I've got a free course on there as well. So uh, some free material you want to go on there at fbcoachsimpson.com in the download section. You can find some stuff on there that might be able to help you. If you haven't already done so, guys, I'd appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. Hoping to put a lot of these 101s coming out. Some will be defense. I think the next week I'm going to get into offensive line blocking 101, walk through the different blocks. Uh, real simple. Uh, you know, my goal is not for you to come on here and get some grand scheme. It's to get something you can take and apply wherever you're coaching. So tomorrow I'm going to hit hip drill how we do our team pursuit. It's a little bit different. Instead of running to cones, I don't like that. You know, we run to a person. And so something we've done is just a little bit different. It may give you something you can use. Appreciate you guys' time.